Howdy! If you like the podcast and you'd like to support us, why not check out Patreon? It's the best way to support us and you get neat rewards too. Like at the $5 tier, you can ask a question or hypothetical for the patron Q&A at the end of the episodes. At the $10 tier, you get the previous rewards, plus you get your name in the credits. And at the $25 tier, you get to name an NPC for perilous storytelling and a shout out during the credits. Check out patreon.com slash music. And the actual podcast is always going to stay free, but if you'd like to support us and you have the you have a bit of money spare, well, want to throw it at us, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll eat it. We'll eat it. We'll eat your money. We'll fucking take a big, a big spoonful of your money and we'll just shred our teeth through them. All I right, think that... On. No. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do that? Okay. Welcome I to the podcast. I certainly think so. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, everyone. <laughs> the last three Shit. times I have like we, I've been in recording sessions for the podcast, it has always been a nightmare. We yeah, always it's always a to nightmare to start. Like three times. Every, so we put out the. It's um, like trying to launch on. a Chinese rocket; it just keeps blowing up in the pad. <laughs> <laughs> no, like no. Hang on, really quick. I want to say. David put out the fucking blooper episode the other day, and everyone was like, why do you even cut this stuff? This stuff's funny. It's well, because it's in the run-up to trying to actually not even, start the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's not There's in like the 30 podcast. minutes of us false starting in every episode that doesn't get published. Yeah, I don't think I've ever taken out anything inside the actual podcast, except the racist stuff. Just the Ed episodes, That's, yeah. Yeah, just the Ed episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> You're right. It's mostly Cameron. Yeah, fucking Cameron's a fucking freak. It's insane. <laughs> he has so many thoughts on the Maori people. Yeah. I never anyway. heard the term <laughs> until Ed. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting beeped. <laughs> hey, Brendan, what about your meat stories? Okay. Really, really well, seamless, David. Really yeah, it was, seamless. It was a really good transition, David. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, so I, I haven't been on the podcast in a little while. Hello, boys. Yeah. Welcome hello, back. Hello, Brendan. Kisses. And I, 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 I have a bunch of stories, okay, but he's I, doing I the Brendan to thing. Oh Can my I just? God. I'm sorry. You're doing the Brendan thing, where he what goes into YouTuber voice he mode. He goes in YouTuber voice. Yeah, mode. no, he's talked about. We've we've mentioned this briefly on the podcast before. <laughs> yeah, and it was in the blooper episode. It's yeah. easier for me to present when I go into the presenter mode. That's okay, how my that's brain fine. works. I don't. I I let you go with it. David's the one judging. David's I'm like, sorry. Brendan, could you be more natural? And I'm like, no, okay, David. Brendan, <laughs> Brendan <laughs> doesn't have a natural state. I don't. You've, I am not, all you, <laughs> everything. I am chaos. everything and nothing. You've met him in person, David. How can you think this man is a default state? I am fluid. Actually, I'm fluidity for the Nintendo Wii, David. <gasps> How fucking dare you? What the fuck? Brendan's That's a liquid. Right. I am a liquid. I am the liquid human being. How dare you take my fucking fluidity? Brendan's the and kid from Sky High who me. melts. Yes, yes. And I get into the vents but and I make things and really white. sticky. I am the one who melts. Is it because of the burgers? See, personally, I think that I just embody Milt Man from the, uh, the, the one Nick television show. You know, Which the one, one where it's like, melt man with the power to m- melt. I think they have Kablam. With yeah, it's Kablam. Power. It's from Kablam. Thank you, Mandy. Thank <clears throat> you for recognizing Kablam. As soon as you mentioned melting action figures, I just thought of Kablam. Dude, Kablam was sick. I want to talk about Kablam at some point, like just a full on, like just a Kablam weird episode of the podcast. Kablam. Yeah, just Kablam. And Bob were revolutionary. I mean, what are we doing right now? Prometheus and Bob were culturally important to me as a child. Personally, the culture of one. I feel in like this, this essay, is obscure as fuck. <laughs> in this essay, I will talk about Prometheus and Bob. It was really cool. Brendan, that do you Prometheus- have a <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I have, I have a couple stories, but I, I, I lament on the fact that I want to talk about something that happened to me at work recently. Um, that's a little bit shorter, but honestly, it, it leads into another meat story. They're both stories about meat. Is it's, it when it's, someone it's, threatened your life? That's a completely different thing. Okay. Um, someone did threaten my life recently as well, but it was like a weird joke. This 90 year old man came up to the counter and he's like making jokes. And he's like, and if you're wrong, I'll come back in here and I'll kill you. Dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> he just straight up said, I'll come back. Well, in if here. you kill me, I guess that means it's free. <laughs> No, I straight up, I straight up was like, well, I guess I better haunt you. Ha ha ha. But on the inside, I'm like, this old man could hold a gun. He probably owns several. You don't know if he can hold a gun. Maybe he has weak fingers. Well, I mean, it'll be shaky, but he'll, he'll get there. 
Maybe I don't know he'll... if he can hold a gun. Maybe he has fingers. No. <laughs> what is that? Oh yeah, sorry. Some old people they lose their fingers as they age. No, maybe, Thank you, David. Maybe he has weak fingers. Maybe he maybe, has weak fingies. Maybe he can't, he can't use the gun, anything. David. He can't mm. hold anything. So yes, hey, Brendan, I don't have, you have a story. <laughs> yeah, I, so I have a meat-based story. Um, yes. and then that leads, like I said, it leads into a different meat-based story that is not related, except for the fact that it I involves hate, meat. I hate how frequently your stories involve meat. All right. Well, I thought, you know what? Sealing burgers, it, it's a, it's a callback. And this is something that happened to me like last week. So I, I, oh, I do this. Worse steaks. It's, like <laughs> oh, it's, it's worse than that. So I work at, at the customer service Walk desk bombs? at the store. Yeah. I work at Walmart, the customer service desk. I work at the retail store. I work at, I work at the customer service desk. I do returns and I process returns. For those of you who do not know, retail is a nightmare. So I do, I have this guy, he came up to me and he has a microwave and he sets it down and I'm, I'm working on this microwave and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you want to do? Well, I want to exchange it for a working one. Oh, okay. Yeah. The heating element went out. That's fine and dandy. All right. Looking over this microwave, it's in pristine condition. No dust, no issues. It looks like it will will perfectly turn on and work. I'm like, all right, cool. So I do the exchange. He heads out with his brand new LG fancy smart microwave. And I'm sitting there and we have to do these these checks on, on items, certain items that come to the store. We have to check them and make sure that they're non-functional or functional. So I, I grab a, one of the people that does the, the checks on these items because I, I technically am not supposed to do that since I'm just a sweet customer service baby boy. And I grab mm -hmm. them. And they come over and and they open it. And in my in my stupidity, in my it just it massive ignorance, in my big dumb stupid brain head, uh, I did not open the microwave during the return at all. Mm. Uh, he is there a opens it up, there? and there is, there is like sitting on top of the circular plate. There is a ceramic plate piled high with barbecue. And I mean, to the top of the microwave, this microwave is almost <laughs> stuffed full of meat. And I just almost scream. I'm like, how do you leave all this meat in a return? Wouldn't it, wouldn't you feel it be like what heavier microwaves with barbecue? all the barbecue? Just a yeah, ceramic also, who, plate full of barbecue. Who leaves it in their fucking microwave for a return, brings it all the way back to the store and says, yeah, I gotta return this. So the, the meat wouldn't cook. And I was like, okay, all right, cool. Didn't <laughs> know you'd leave show the you. fucking meat inside, dog. He wanted to show you, like, in case. Look at all this barbecue. Look at all this barbecue. Look how uncooked my meat is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me just gonna nuke some brisket. That dude's a sociopath. <laughs> that old man <laughs> might have threatened your life, but this return guy, he's way more dangerous. Just you do not know what he's capable psycho, of. the meat bandit. The meat like, bandit. Yeah, cousin to the Hamburglar. Oh. Oh. It's a I family tree. Second oh. nephew of the poop bandit. <laughs> Jesus, there's so much lore. Call back to Brent Daniel Reed's there, Avery. Family <laughs> tree is shaped like a, a dream catcher. <laughs> Steak dream catcher. So, and, I, and and during this whole, like, thing, I, I was thinking about a story that my grandmother told me that leads me into my second story about meat. Uh, back in the day, my grandmother and my grandfather worked at a meat processing plant uh, in the town of, uh, the, the, of, of I, uh, it doesn't matter, Denison, Iowa. They worked at a meat packing plant. And I remember vividly this story. My grand -gram sat me down, my nana sat me down, and she said, yeah, you know, it was pretty messed up. Uh, the other day, we had, a, we had a pigeon fly in. And I'm like, oh, we had a, had a pigeon fly in, like a bird fly in. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, so we had this guy, he came in with a BB gun, and he shot it down, and it fell into one of the meat vats. They just kept going. <gasps> What? What? Yeah, they, they, the uh, bird they uh, with a BB died, fell into a vat of meat at the processing plant my grandma worked at, and they just like, kept going. God, they it's like the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> they just Somebody? processed the meat. It's like what, someone got what feathers it? in their hot dog. Someone out there I ripped think open most their hot, hot dogs. Dog. Have feathers in them. Most hot, <laughs> hot dogs are ninety five percent feathers. That's why they're light for you. It's just a That's nice. Why they call little, it a light snack. Just they have light. low caloric value. <laughs> nice little tube of plumes. I'm like I'm like bursting at the seams with stories. The they're all so day, small. It's like a they're... shotgun blast of stories. <laughs> it feels so the, good. <clears throat> Your wanted... story skeet shooting. No, I I you know what? That's like that's my special ability. One is, of the pellets will rain. hit. <laughs> One of the vomit. pellets. <laughs> One of them will hit, and someone will be like, "Brendan, that was pretty funny. I'm proud of you." One clap. Brendan, Brendan I snored. <laughs> Brendan, I feel like your entire existence is for the one clap. 
It, you know what? I live for the clap. Well, nope. All right. Okay. My for the clap. Got chlamydia. What? My little brother got oh. chlamydia, and I played the Wiggles song, The Clap, for an entire week. He would wake up, and I'd just start <laughs> playing The Clap on my, you, like outside his door. You're a monster. Me and my little <laughs> brother. My little brother is such a dick, but I love him. He's he's such a he works at he works at Burger King. My uncle works at Burger King. It's a family business now. It's it's so fucking weird <laughs> that my little brother works under my uncle, so he just smokes pot at work and my uncle's just like, Well, I can't fire you, you live with me. Do you think <laughs> next time I go to Iowa I could get like some free Mac and Cheetos? I could probably wrangle it. They bring Whoppers oh, home all the time, like yes. a bag full of Whoppers, both of them. I assume Do they, they just apologize. The <laughs> no. <laughs> In this household, we eat Mac and Cheetos and only Mac and Cheetos. I don't think they have those on the menu anymore, David. I want, I don't want you to say that to me right now. I want to believe. I want to, I want to burn your like dreams down. The lowest rung of fast food. Yeah, it's, but yeah. nowhere except else in has Europe, Mac and Cheetos. Except in Europe, apparently. It's weird that Burger King's menu, the one thing I will give Burger King is their, their amount of experimentation because they don't know what the fuck to do. Okay. So they, like, don't know, they don't know so how to make human food. Well, they have tacos on their menu right now. Yeah, they make bad what? food. It's weird. They're, they have tacos. They have the Impossible Burger on their menu, which is very okay. It's, it's a vegan burger, yeah. Oh, it's the, is it the one that bleeds? No. Th just <laughs> what? There's a burger. Did you There's listen a, to the thing I said a second ago? I didn't hear you. Brendan it's, was talking it's, it's over. It's a vegan burger. Yeah. It's, fa it's a, fake meat. What? No, there, there is a vegan burger that bleeds. It's made of all beets. No, no it's it's called the Beyond Burger, and they have it at a and in Canada. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, the Beyond yeah, Burgers. Oh. Yeah, it's a burger that just bleeds, and apparently it tastes exactly like meat. And they have uh, turnips in it, I think, to make the, the blood of Yeah, effect. I think it's... Wait, isn't it beet? No, no you're right. It's, it's beets. No, it's beets. Yeah, no, it's beets. I don't know. Because turnips are white. You're right. The Impossible <laughs> Burger is weird because it feels like it's it's encased. You know, like how a sausage has its like casing. Yeah. Is it's yeah. like a hamburger with a slight casing, so it's very odd. That to eat. sounds fucking disgusting. Dude, you know vegan, what? Vegan sausage is actually not bad because the flavor of sausage is entirely the seasoning. Yeah, that does sound nice, but it's not the same when it's just a fucking beef patty that has like. Jello skin around it. Yeah, you want to get the hamburger uh, skin? <laughs> Speaking of like, peel the know, flesh away. Burger King. There's a there's a guy who comes to my workplace and he just oh follows people around and he works at Burger King and he he's been gone for like a month and I asked my uncle because he works there now and I was like, hey, where does this guy? Where does this guy work? Like, where is this guy at? He got hit by a car apparently just like walking in the street like nonchalantly. It was like it was blew my mind. That someone can get hit by a car <laughs> in this day and age. Just, oh just kind of like, yeah, there's a car there. Okay, cool. Let me just go. Like my mom got hit by a car. Oh. These are fucking strange stories, fellas. I, I'm i like bursting with stories. energy. We're just, I got, we're just talking about Burger King right now. We're just talking about Burger King. Yeah. What's your guys' weirdest Burger King experience? Because mine is like walking and smelling blood. Not many, because I learned from my mistakes. Walking and smelling blood? What were yeah, they fucking not, knowing, slaughtering in the back? Not knowing where it came from, but just the smell of iron. Like, mm, what's that? Okay, cool. I don't know. I never went to Burger King, really. I mean, There's I only, remember one, but... Yeah, because because there's only one on. Burger King. No, hang on, we're not. Mandy no, can't I was... say I remember one, but and get away with it. We cannot I let was... that happen. Oh. Mandy, tell your Burger King story. I was not fin. Okay, let okay. David did you have go. a story? Okay, I didn't have a story. Okay, what the fuck? Did <laughs> I just wanted to. I just wanted to say that we only have one Burger King. Because lucky Burger King went out. Do they mean... call it the Burger King, the Burger Emperor? No, because it's the only one. It was called the Roi and Bourgeois. <laughs> okay, so I, I do have a story because I remember it a little more vividly now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> it's not really a story, but back in either 19... When the Pokemon the first movie came out, was it 99? Oh my god. Wasn't it Pokemon 2000? No, no, no. Or is that Bur Burger Pokemon? King had a... Uh, it was for the, fo the first Pokemon movie, but Burger King had a, uh, a tie-in with the movie. Where you could get, um, like, like instead of like the toy with your whatever meal was called, they'd give you like a Pokeball and it would have like a gold, a gold plated <gasps> Pokemon card in it. I have a story related to your story. Continue. Yeah. And so it will, and so, you know, that, that shit was hot. Pokemon was hot. And I remember 
because we rarely went out to fast food. And I remember me and a friend, we went to Burger King because his dad took us. And <laughs> it's not much of a story, but I just remember we passed the table like to go up to the counter. I don't even remember what Pokemon card I got, but I remember this kid who might have been a little bit younger than me. And he was crying and yelling at his mom and trying incessantly to plug his Game Boy Link cable into a burger with his Game Boy <laughs> to the side. <laughs> like, he was, and I remember he was screaming, he was saying something like, What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I remember he was saying some shit like, I remember what Pokemon, it was like, well, he was trying to evolve it, like some you can only trade. I remember what he was saying, he's like, I want Steelix! He's like trying to shove it into his burger. I need to find, it needs nutrients. The thing is, it's like, feed. I need those IVs. Because as a kid too, I didn't think he was stupid. I was worried. I was like, what if mine won't work? <laughs> This kid's on to something. Holy he shit. He wants Steelix. I was like, I was like, do you have to plug into the burger? Like, what's going on? It felt like he knew more than I did. <laughs> and like there was in? there was some Dude. way to plug it to the burger, and I didn't His understand. Older how. brother definitely told him he needed to do yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. So I was fucking panicking. I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get mine. I don't know how to tap the burger. I was thinking like you had to do something to the burger to get your fucking Pokemon. And the toys in the bag. I'm like, oh, that guy was just dumb. <laughs> that's fucking insane. Yeah, that's like my only Burger King story. It's just watching a child try to shove his, his cable into his burger to get his fucking Pokemon. Thinking then, about those 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 gold were they the the ones with the gold cards? Yeah, they had like the little pla the shitty little plastic uh Pokeball and there was like a card. And they in had there. the gold card inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. My uh so my I, I wanna say like maybe about five years ago, so when I was twenty one. Um, I had, I had a fight with my, <laughs> I, just the fact that this is related to the last story and you were 21. That's all yeah. I'm laughing about. Okay. All right. All right. So this is, this is a Brendan's dad story. Oh, all right. so pace oh, no. yourself here. So when I turned 21, my dad wanted to go to the fucking casino and he left my, my little sister, uh, my little sister, Taryn and uh, my little brother to watch her at my mom's house. And he, he came up to my town and he picked me up and we went to the casino and he's just handing me money, like hundred dollar bills that I'm like, I pocketed one. And then I just kept putting them into the like penny slots. I think I spent about $900 worth of his money just wasting it. Cause I was pissed off at him for being a shit dad. And I was like, fuck you. I'm just going to drain your fucking money. I'm going to put it into all the slots and waste it. And they got incredibly mad at me. And he turns to me because he's like, you're just wasting my fucking money. And he turns to me and he says, you're never getting those Pokemon cards back. I keep them in the vault. I'm keeping them there and I'm <laughs> never giving them to you. And it was the full suite that I had as a kid of the, all the gold cards. I had the full set of all the gold cards and I was so uh... fucking angry. So I just kept spending his money and he kept handing me money. <laughs> What? Oh my God! Wait, what? I think at the end of the night, it was like four a.m. We're in this casino. I'm in this casino with my dad, who I fucking hate, and I, I spent like twelve hundred dollars instead of just pocketing all of it because I was mad at him. What the fuck? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tom didn't fuck? Want, want his dad's blood money. Where's the I Burger did, King? I didn't want his fucking. Yo, well, how is that related, related to the Mandy cards? Story? Well, the, cards, the Pokemon the, cards, he the, the gold said, cards. I just said I had all he has the gold a cards. Set and he, I, his my dad, dad kept them in his safe. He would yeah. not give them back. He thinks they're worth like a ton of money, and he he was like, "I'm just gonna hold these over your head forever." It's kind of like a weird guilt thing to make him money there's, at the casino. Brandon, Did he expect no, me to like go like psychic and win 21? I don't know what he wanted from me. Yeah, you're not even a psychic type, bro. I'm not. I'm like a steel type. You're like a nightmare type. You could you're do like, fairy type. Oh, maybe fairy type. Yeah, they're all creepy. I have, uh, I do remember uh, trading the Togatek card as a kid, though, for a hamster. What for a hang on, what, what, hang an on. actual <laughs> living being? So, so in the in the Pokemon first promotional tie-on, there was like a Togepi or a Tugatick card, I think, for the gold cards. This is I, I vividly remember this. It might have just been the Pikachu card, but I swear there was a Togepi card. And there yeah. was this um, I, I I think I mentioned my uncle Johnny on the podcast, or not my uncle, my cousin Johnny on the I, podcast before. Um, the, I think I talked about like how we killed a mongoose at one point. Yes, yeah. So we I, talked about how me and my cousin Johnny killed a mongoose, Call of Duty, throwing random knife style. Yeah. And so I went over to his house and this is like, you know, 19, 2001, I think. And I had this card 
2001, mm. 2002. And I went over to his house and his sister had this hamster that was super sick and she would not take <laughs> care of it. And I was like crying oh sad at this hamster. And she looked at me and she says, you must give me your most prized possession. And like, probably not this dramatic, but in my head, this is how I remember it, is you must give me your most prized possession to get this hamster. Because she knew I wanted it. So I just pulled out my Pokeball out of my backpack, swung it open, and I said, I will give you this gold card if you give me the life of that dear sweet hamster. And then I took him to my grandparents' house and he died a year later. Yeah. <laughs> you buy a hamster to teach your kid about death. Yeah, I can't remember... Did I tell the hamster smashing story in this podcast? No. I feel like I did. Hamster smashing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. No, 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 no. I want to hear Mandy. Go ahead. Mandy. You cannot start are you something. Sh- are you sure I didn't tell I'm a sure. story? You did not I would say remember that. the I'm hamster fucking smashing shocked story. I didn't. <laughs> okay. Be- well, when Avery said that you buy a hamster to teach, teach your kids about death, that was unironically what uh, one of my friend's dads did. What? He went through about seven hamsters and gerbils in the space of about three years. What happened was... Dude, that kid did, knew the fuck about death. No. For, what, for, what, for some reason, his dad never wanted to, like, take it to, like, a, a vet or get medicine or anything. So, he like, the first one, he'd be like, you know, Dad, like, nibbles hurt his leg. And so his dad sighs. He was like, let's go to the garage, son. No. And he puts oh, it no. Under- <laughs> did he have, like, a beer crush? One of those beer can crushing things? Oh, no, 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 no. He just, like... He had like this huge work table and he had like equipment in there. And he had a like a big hammer. Um, he had like <laughs> I don't I don't want I don't want to say it's not sure the surface is, but I just gotta call it an anvil. He had an oh, anvil in there. God. What <laughs> the fuck? He had some kind of like he works like a mechanic. So he puts the um he puts the, the critter on top of the anvil and no. he just smashes it with a sledgehammer. Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> The thing what? is, <laughs> the fuck. This became such a pattern with him. That, like, that kid's a psychopath now. No, when it happened, to, when it happened to the second and what third one, fuck? he started like hiding them when they were six. He no. knew it would go to, out to the Oh no! That's so fucked. Because like his dad would come in and he'd be That's like, "Okay, so like, fuck. You know, where's where's Mister Nibbles number four? He'll get better, Dad." His <laughs> dad just is like, "Size, give him no. to me." <laughs> No Mandy. way. Mandy, you know how you always tell me that you grew up in, like, JRPG Starter Village? Yeah. That dude was the boss you had to beat to get to the actual <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, when he told me about it, he's like, it was never, like, a variation. Like, he would never, he would never, like, crack its neck or, like, stomp it. He would always put it on the same <laughs> table and destroy it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> oh that is fucking... That's he horrific. Said, he said that he gave up on the seventh one because he said, and I quote, he put on the sled. He, yeah, he said he put on the anvil, and this time when he hit with a sledgehammer, it became a fine mist, and I realized that he could take any life he wanted, and I just gave up on having pets. I'm in fucking shock. Yeah, it's so odd. It's like, not only was he killing them. It is not odd. It is fucking He wasn't just killing them. It was that he did it in the exact same way every time. It would be like. It's not (sighs) that he did it the same way every time, Mandy. It's It's the method specifically. Murdered. (laughs) Yeah, it's fucking weird. He made a child watch. Oh, no, he didn't have to watch. Like, I think he he hid for four, five, and five. I don't know about six. (laughs) But six and seven, he had to learn. I think what I think by the time by six it was like he's like playing GameCube or whatever and his dad comes in, just like takes the hamster out of its cage, goes out into the oh garage, you just hear up and that's it. <laughs> oh he didn't even like look up from Smash or whatever, just like whatever. Why but does dad one, keep buying hamsters? <laughs> What the I mean, they're not fuck? an expensive that pet. That dad wanted to smash that hamsters with a mallet. Anything. That's that's th- my takeaway from this: is that dad that wanted dad to kill things. His it. JRPG name would be Bloody Gallagher. It's the fact that on number seven, he's like, I guess I'll watch out of curiosity, and it becomes a mist. And he's like, you know that what? Dad would no more, sneak no into more of these. Room, whatever room the hamster was held in, that dad would sneak in in the dead of night, grab his little leg, and. Like a toothpick. I mean, I, oh I was fucking surprised by it too. He's like, oh yeah, I used to have hamsters, but you know. My dad would completely obliterate them. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What do you mean your dad would obliterate them? Oh, you know. Oh, you know, he'd take them like in the garage, just dads. destroy it with a hammer. You know, how you get rid of swing. hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's somehow like, even worse than having one of those can crushing, like, cranks in yeah, your garage. Like, oh, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, like. Shoving it in and. <laughs> he 
He'd be like, oh yeah, like some drops of blood would sometimes like spray on the walls and shit. And it's like he didn't what seem to give a fuck? shit. He was trying to cover his bases. He was totally murdering people in that garage. He wanted to diffuse the amount of blood on the walls. Uh, he, I don't know because oh, I never no, actually son, met. It. I only met his mom. I never met his dad. How, ma- how much hamster blood is it going to take to diffuse a human body? Like six or seven? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but this was like over a period of like a few years. That's how like you cover a, a murder, week. Mandy. Yeah, but it's like take to the same spot every time. Like, wouldn't you want to spread it around? It's like the cat guy from well, Ancient Mage's Bride. That's not how you get rid of a body, anyways. Like, I fuck. know it's not how you get rid of a body. <laughs> Shut up, Mandy. <laughs> It's how you get no, you rid- wanna- it's how you it's how you dilute the human blood particles in your garage because you are worried that they're still around. I mean the only thing you need to dilute is the teeth, which you can do with like fucking household soda. You just take teeth <sighs> and identifying bones and you just let them dissolve in Coca-Cola over three days. Soda will work so fucking fast, it's unreal. Take notes, audience. <laughs> <laughs> you want the body to be in small pieces that police, law enforcement, and dogs can't find. Little pieces that animals will eat that are scattered around a wide area. I think this, this is, is getting illegal? cut from the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I think this is very illegal. I, I don't think, think you're really allowed elite. to give people advice on how to get rid of bodies, Mandy. I don't know. That might be free speech, at least in this country. Free speech? That might depend on state. It, uh, I don't know. think so. Uh, is it like a can, finances? A like, can you <laughs> <laughs> tell oh my God. people how to get rid of a body? Tomorrow, 10 ways to dispose of a dead body if you really needed to. Okay. Yes, yeah, so there's articles on it. Yeah. And Mandy, just oh, say Mandy, theoretically. You are, you are the make auditory whatculture.com. Make, what? make it a listicle and then it's all fun and games. Rebel Circus? <laughs> the real secret what is the protocultures websites? and the yogurt. What? Let's move on. Wait, so, the only like weird animal thing I can think of is like, back on the farm, my dad had a ton of guns uh, and he had these like you know, an Uzi? Yeah. 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 My dad had an Why? Uzi. Nice. Why? Because, all right. So one of the things that my dad got charged with when, uh, w- <laughs> like, when he was <laughs> arrested. Uh, <laughs> so my, first off, my father was, my father was arrested for, like, threatening to pipe bomb someone. What? <laughs> yeah. So my, my dad, the meth maker was was originally charged with threatening to pipe bomb someone and apparently according to my mom they had a fight back when i was a kid at some point and he got his right to bear arms taken away <laughs> what? because they had a fight like this is something my mom tells me constantly is that and i don't know if it's a thing but that's just something my mom constantly told me as a kid now and so he had a ton of i guess illegal guns and they all got impounded um, but back in the day, well, on the farm, my dad had this Uzi, and he would take it outside, and we had a slew of farm cats, and he would just spray it at the farm cats and never hit a single one of them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He'd just go I'm outside, so like, methed up, like, jittery, like, like 15 cups of coffee or one whole cup of meth, and he just... <laughs> nope, nothing. My, my childhood might be a little fucked, honestly. I'm really happy none of the cats got hit. Brendan, I promise not to make dad jokes on the podcast anymore. You You're can't, fine. My dad's, you can't my dad's, do this to me. <laughs> my dad's absolutely fucked. I, did, I, I haven't mentioned the podcast. My grandma got arrested uh, recently for uh, selling methamphetamine. Oh, selling? I thought it was possession. Nice. No, she no, got arrested. Selling, so yeah. they did two controlled buys where, where an undercover officer went <laughs> down and like they tricked my grandma and her new boyfriend twice. And now they're trying to get married. Her and her boyfriend are trying to get married and they offered her a plea deal and she turned it down and she's going to try to represent herself. Oh. So I guess I'm going to have a grandma in prison for the rest of her life. You're going to have a grandma in prison for the rest of her life. Yeah. It's so, so fucking weird. We all told her. We all talked. <clears throat> the entire family talked to her and called her a dumbass. And she's just like, I'm very intelligent. Oh. Wait, I Avery, take d- care of this. Didn't Dimitri tell you the story about his was his grandpa or uncle who was obliterating raccoons with a shotgun. He did tell me, what? yeah. The yeah, fuck? I, I had a vague memory pop up. I was like, did you tell him that story? Like, yeah, I, I, I heard know. about the raccoon obliteration. I heard about you and Dimitri breaking your arm, sledding down a hill in the okay. same day. I was just thinking of, since we're on the topic of guns and animal obliterations. So guns, Dimitri's animal not obliteration, here, so, like, It's not really a story for the podcast. No, no it's not. <laughs> oh my god. Sledding. It'll be the spinoff comp podcast of him ahmed other david what else is there <laughs> just put dark, in there the I dark mean, pst D- yeah the that. dark pst bleep that david okay if um 
if if you're alive, don't you, doesn't everybody have like a sledding accident story? I don't have a sledding a accident. If you have story. snow, yeah, yeah. everyone has. Yeah, you know, when I'm, I'm not- sometime when I'm sober, remind me to tell the Pokemon card heist on the podcast because I just remembered that story. It's from when I was like ten. Pokemon cards. I I think I tried to steal Pokemon cards once, and I got to the Walmart bathroom, and I started crying, and you then said I went that out. Of, yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah. that's the only Pokemon card story <laughs> I have. There Actually, Hamster heisters. Friend did that too. Oh. He, except he stole uh he stole Yu Gi Oh cards, and they put up like a security camera footage, like photo of him up in the door. He's like, oh, oh I can't go to that food line anymore. <laughs> Mandy, in your area, was Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, all, like, was it it? Was there no Pokemon? Was it just Yu-Gi-Oh! The thing is, I can't remember if it was Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! with him because Pokemon was, like, the starting thing. But, yeah, and then you got into but Yu-Gi-Oh! 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 Be, you grew Yu-Gi-Oh! Up. Beca- Yu-Gi-Oh! became, the, like, the cooler thing with, like, middle... It's like, oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Pokemon... Pff, you lose your fucking soul when you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Mandy's, Mandy's <laughs> quartz mind reminds me of the time when I was a kid and I paid uh, two kids to bodyguard me on the playground with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Did I mention we visited the quartz mine while I was there and Mandy walked over, picked up a piece of quartz and handed it to me? <laughs> what? Do you have a picture? Uh, no, I can take somewhere. a picture of it. I have Please. it. Oh, oh no, yeah, that. because we, we drove there. I was like, fuck it, we're in the area. Piece, we're like, whoa. History. Well, it grew grass and they moved the, the they fence moved down. They moved the so fence kids, to the quartz mines yeah. outside of the playground now. <laughs> but it's like they were there here and I just like looked down and went, look, and I just picked up a huge piece of quartz and just handed it to Avery. Like this would have this would have fetched a fine price back in the day. This would have been looked really eyes. fucking disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's God. Just a school in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Granted, everything's in the middle of the woods. Yeah, that that one really is the middle of the woods, though. Just like a ring of trees around it. Then school. Yeah, kind of nice though. I forget you don't have trees in Houston. I've sent you pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's just a desolate swamp. It's it's a swamp and or concrete nightmare, depending on where you are. Nightmare. Yeah. Damn. My, I, I'm trying to think how I can even. You don't just go ahead. My my story just has nothing ahead. to do with animal. Do anyway. Tell me about meat, David. I'll tell you about airport. Oh, okay, that's fine. Tangentially related <laughs> to meat. Meat goes inside the airport, gets in airplanes, and flies away. Yeah, tell me. And you, you can just eat. You can just eat at the food court. So I, when I was coming back from Colorado, I went through security in Canada, and. I was very scared of getting arrested because I, well, arrested, more like stopped and just like having a lot of trouble, like just going back into Canada because I have, I bought these two mini synth synths and they look like bombs, little bombs. Yeah. And so I went through, I got my bags. I, I, I went to do the paper stuff because when you get back, you just have these like you have to go through customs and there's like these machines and you just press the buttons and everything that you need to declare how much money you spent and how much you're bringing back, whatever. I And then they give you the paper. You go see a lady or a, a dude or whatever. And you, you I just go. I walk towards the, the counter and then I and then she's she asking my name. What do I do? And nowadays, I don't know what to say when I... I have a question for you guys. What do you guys say when you get asked, what do you do by fucking Mandy customs and shit? contract work. Contract work? Retail. Oh, yeah. I say I'm yeah. a writer. Contra- <sighs> I, I say I'm a content creator because I just don't want to... Say, say you're a... <laughs> David, don't say that. Say you're a contract Why? audio engineer. Well, that's not all really I'm true. A, I'm an it doesn't matter. Audio engineer. When well, I when I go does, through customs I when I go through customs tomorrow, David, I'm you know what I'm gonna tell him? What are you going what? to Germany for? I'm going to a party. You're not saying that. Yes, I am. Oh well, I mean, I, they'll think business it's business or pleasure. Fest. Pleasure. What are you doing there? Going to a party? <laughs> I thought it was business, though. No, it's not because it's not technically business. There's no expectation from me. Uh, anyways, I go through, and then she she starts asking me questions, and th- she just has she just starts getting very aggressive with her questions, and like she looks like a bit. I don't know. She she looks at me like I'm a fucking criminal. Because you said and then content she's, creator. Yeah, maybe that's. <laughs> If you don't know what that means, it's what the fuck does that mean? If you know what it means, it's kind of like it's like, ugh. oh, you're an yeah. 
you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Professional. Bodies. Ne- next time I'll just say influencer. Let's see what that brings me. <laughs> Influencer is the only thing worse to call yourself than content creator. I hate both yeah, of those. I hate definitely. both of those titles so much. David, say you work in entertainment. I can, and then I try and narrow them down the hallway of gay porn star and they'll stop asking questions. Oh, that would be funny <laughs> as shit. They would totally believe me. I look gay. You look like such a twink. <laughs> Yeah, so she gets really shady, and she just she just takes my paper. She gets and she shady, a, or she treats you like you're shady. Well, well, well. She she it, I, I she was more shifty. saying like shifty. Shifty is like well, well, I don't know about this guy. Yeah, it's shifty. Yeah. She gets shifty. She's super suspicious about me, and she just takes her fucking big old big old sharpie, and she just does a big fat X on my check <laughs> and says, "Go through customs." And then I'm like, "Oh no!" I go down. I take my luggage and then I go back to see another like thing of like custom agents. I go to the custom agent. He looks at me and I see fear. I'm like immediately, oh no, shit's going to go fucking bad. He's like, you need to go get inspected. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. I go, t- I go into a fucking secluded room. There's just a bunch of families with like food and you're not allowed to bring back food into the country in, in, in like different ways. And basically I'm, I'm, I get put with them, but I get put like in a separate room. In the bomb room. Basically I, I go there, I bring my luggage in, I sit down and then the guy just starts asking me a fuck ton of question. He's just like, he's the first question, like I not even not even name anything i i sit down i put my my passport down he looks at the passport just like starts reading it mhm mhm you ever shot a gun before <laughs> <laughs> i was like what the fuck dude no. i wish we went to a shooting range in colorado now fuck dude c- c- no, dude, shooting I, I are really so don't much wish fun. that. I was dude i've never been more scared in my fucking life it was just this massive fucking dude like do you ever shot a gun before? <laughs> yeah, basically. He was just this big, massive dude in front of me asking these questions. And then he was like, have you, uh, did you go to school there? Oh, okay. Did you go to school there? And it was like, he was just going through like a list of schools. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And as he, as he keeps going, he's like, have you ever been charged for possession of drugs? Have you ever been charged for this? And just like everything possible. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And then he looks at my tattoo. He says, when did you get this tattoo? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, like a, a few years back. And eventually, right right after the tattoo question, he's like, OK, I'll be right back. So he leaves and I'm just alone with myself and my luggage. I, I, I am fucking terrified to even look at my phone at that point because it's just like this room and it's all spooky. So I just I just sit there and I just wait. And then I wait and wait and wait and wait. It took like f- probably 30 fucking minutes until the guy comes back. He makes me stand up and then he makes me like he starts inspecting my face. And then he he says he he just starts asking me, "Do you have a do you have a scar on your arm?" I'm like, "No. Do you have a scar on your eye?" like under your eye and I, I i'm like no you can you can see i don't have a scar under my eye and he's like okay you're good he gives back my stuff what? and then <laughs> what? i get I, plastic surgery he made himself get, look like a I twink get, he just says okay you're you're good and when he says nobody that, nobody could possibly look that gay <laughs> he's like look at his hair <laughs> You can you can go, but when he says that, I'm I, I nervously I don't know why I fucking said that, but I nervously say like, Haha, do I look like a criminal, <laughs> David? You <laughs> fucking oh, no, idiot, David. <laughs> David. If you were in America, they could legally shoot you. <laughs> and then he's like, Oh well, yeah. There's actually a guy with <laughs> the same name as you going around, and he he looks exactly like you, but he has a scar under your eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> My clone is out there. The fucking liquid David. <laughs> My clone is out there. Anti David is out there. He I has have guns a fucking clone and with a drugs. Scar. And I know where he went to school. What the fuck? 
He looks just like me, but he has a scar under his eye. It's like How Gemini fun. Man, but gay. It's- <laughs> <laughs> How fucking crazy is it though? Holy shit, he's out there. Dude, that's you from the future. You become a terrorist. That's how this arc ends. What? <laughs> Why would I become a terrorist? What would push me? We don't know do yet. That? Discontent with <gasps> the French four. language falling out of fashion in in, in Canada. If Kingdom anything, Hearts it's four. David, what if Kingdom Hearts 4 is bad? What if Kingdom Hearts 4 is a Call of Duty tie-in? David, what God if knows Kingdom what Hearts I'll do. 4 is just a VR experience? God knows, God knows what I'll do to myself. No, not to Why yourself. Why is it so bad? To the people. And awesome. To the world. <laughs> <laughs> I will make the yeah. world the Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I'm gonna open the door to darkness. I'm gonna become Xehanort. <gasps> I'm mad that I sent... I even helped us down this path. David I'm gonna North. David North. David North. My and like, then I'm gonna I'm gonna have another David inside of me and his name is gonna be Davidus. <laughs> My like Colorado return trip, everybody's talked about there is we just saw a fuck ton of animals on our drive back because we drove. Uh, did, were we the only people who drove? Like well besides I like think I so. guess I guess the whole like all the way across state. We saw so, so many animals. Mostly and- most people just came by plane most people flew I, yeah david and i drove to the airport yeah everyone else went to denver there's um there was a the moment i remember clearly on the drive and i think i messaged avery right after and it was we were driving on this small like nebraska back road and in the middle of the road was an owl and this owl <gasps> sat there and flew away into the night sky and it was just sitting in the middle of the road and it just sticks in my brain just in, incredibly hard stuck in my fucking brain and I just immediately was like Avery you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think that happened as I was dying in DFW yeah I think I, I, oh I, think I messaged God, you yeah. while you were dying yeah <laughs> I saw an owl fly away and I was like Avery I have to make sure he's okay it was a symbol it was a sign the, the owl was letting me know of your state what a bad state <laughs> lost in the dark Alone. At World's Somber. End. At World's End. Hey, David, I have a question for you. A question yes. about Patreon. Do you want to do the Patreon questions? A question about Patreon? Patreon questions? I would like to do the Patreon questions. Questions about Patreon, Brendan. Well, then absolutely. Let's do some Patreon questions, David, my patron saint. Thank you. I am a patron saint, blood. If you're part of the... What tier is it now? It's five. Sorry. I'm if you're part now. of the... Oh, I haven't stopped God. drinking. I feel I got, sober. But I'm halfway I'm through this sober. Miller and I drank the whole White Claw. And now I'm, I'm drinking so Ricard, sorry. which is a French liqueur. I got the Miller except, that my girlfriend handed to me. I'm drinking it like a degenerate. I'm just necking the bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah, Patreon questions. If you're part of the $5 and above tiers, you can ask a question on the Patreon Q&A. Bella B. Basson asks, any games you're really excited about? If so, why? Fucking Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds? Outer, Outer Worlds. Worlds. I'm excited Outer about. Worlds. Is, is Outer Worlds the Fallout game? That's the Obsidian <laughs> well, game. Yeah, it's a like Fallout game. game. It's I mean, Space it's, Fallout. It's, 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 not, it's not Fallout, you know? It might as yeah. It's It looks pretty similar to New Vegas, which I, I'm I'm down for more of that. And that, that game I sent you, Mandy, also, Jesus Christ, Disco Elysium looks so good. It looks Disco fun. Disco Elysium? They said they're going to put, uh, there's going to be like 90 fucking hours of content in their fucking game. It, it's like a top-down isometric RPG, but it's like this weird detective RPG, mm. and I saw it, and I thought, Mandy needs to know. Mandy must know. Uh, mine uh, would I'm probably... Oh sorry. oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, mine would probably be... I have two. Is that cheating? No, it's fine. It's, it's, I have it's Animal Crossing. Game crossing. Games, isn't it? Is it? Oh, it's yeah, games. games. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. really excited about Animal Crossing, and I'm really excited about the new Pokemon game, because I just got back into Pokemon games. I'm super excited for After Party. Fuck oh, yes! I just saw the launch great. trailer. It looks so fucking good. After I know Party, you're a big. I'm a huge. I'm a free. huge night school booster. They are mm-hmm. such good boys. Yeah. The, they're, I really need to Oxen play Oxen Free. Oxen free is dude. so good. I'm usually. After Party looks like my shit. I'm usually honestly. not like super into the uh, walk around and then press and then select one of four dialogue options and ooh maybe it'll change the story. Yeah. But Oxen Free is so fucking good and. After party, like, looks I mean, really, 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 to really me, oxen good. Free, to me, oxen free just looks like a game that 
I mean, it is that, but it's wholly there's focused on a narrative. Lot going there's on. not really a gameplay loop, but it's, yeah, it's, there's it's, a lot going on in the narrative itself. Oh yeah, no, there's a lot going on, yeah. and it also that that story only works in a game. And I think that's super interesting. God, Oxenfree is so good. Yeah, I really need to get into that. I think that's like one of my biggest things in a video that I've gone back on is Oxen Free being number three in my top ten games of 2016 list. That shit deserved to be you higher. You want to put it back? Oxen Free, so was, good. What was the your number? Oh wait, one no, I think it again? was number four because number three was Al Boy, mm. number two was Dark Souls three, and number wait, no, number two was Fury, and then number one was wait, I don't remember. Uh, I don't. Yeah, Titanfall. Yeah. Titanfall. Was Titanfall number was number one. Yeah, Titanfall 2 yeah. was number one. Okay, Whatever. Really. Oxenfree was too low on that list. Oxenfree is one of my favorite games. Oxenfree is so good. Yeah. Uh, uh, after Mandy, Party, I'm super answer? excited about. Mandy? Mandy? Uh, one Brennan showed me was good, but I can't really think of anything, honestly. That's fair. It's very fair. Obviously, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is very Mandy. <laughs> Oh, the most Mandy game. <laughs> most Mandy game I've ever seen. Senren Solarai Kagura. asked, oh. if you had to pick tattoos for each other, what would you get? If I was David, I would get a tattoo under his eye. What would it be? Of a scar. <laughs> <laughs> I would make oh, Avery no. get his YouTube URL the across prophecy. his fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, I'd make sure you'd have damage on your forehead. Oh, fuck. oh my god. <laughs> I can picture that. Too. But spelled wrong. <laughs> Damn gade. Damn gade. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Brendan, I would make you get the Garfield markings on your face. Yes. 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 Dude, it's like Garfield <laughs> ICP. <laughs> oh <Yes>! my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lasagna -lo. I'm lasagna <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, unarmed toaster asked everyone play wed bed behead with the other co-hosts as the target Ooh, okay david you start i'm gonna die so much uh marry brendan so that pain hole can live on forever thank you who's the most fuckable between you two oh my fucking god <laughs> <laughs> You made it so much worse. <laughs> what? That's the game. Uh, oh, I made it weird. Yes! <laughs> what if I say who I kill? I can't kill. It's against yeah. my blood. Oh my god. You have to kill and um, fuck one of us, David. You picked this question. I, what if I have a bullet? What does that mean? What do you mean? Listen, fuck one of us, kill if, one of us. Holy shit. <laughs> What if I okay? What if I just like had had a knife and I would just flail it around David, and close my up. eyes until somebody <laughs> dies, and then I would fuck the other. David, person. you have to pick. I I'm, I'm, I don't want to. Uh... Fuck Mandy, marry Avery, kill David, but o only because I could bring David back to life. What? Oh, how? Huh, I'd found it. I'd find a way. Don't worry fuck about Brendan, it. Fuck Brendan, bro. Mandy, marry Mandy, <sighs> kill David, bro. No, no love for twinks anymore. You have to fit. I'm, I'm doing it because you're frustrating me right now by um, refusing to finish <laughs> yours. I'm gonna kill you, bro. Okay, fine. Frick. I say, when fuck me. <laughs> I married you. Yeah, I fired. fucked you. Uh, we all fuck. fucked you. Which one is the shortest again, David? What the fuck? I oh, still no. might kill Avery. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm six foot five. I could reach like, yeah, jars for days. I, I primary Brendan. <sighs> oh no! I'm like the Swiss Army man. Don't feel bad about killing me. Everybody's doing it. I can do anything. That's not true. I mean, I'm dead on the inside, but crispy you know what on you the can't outside. do? Extend your arms all the way. Fuck you, Avery! <laughs> I'm gonna shit all over you. <laughs> Bro. You're gonna fucking, fucking wake up in Colorado next year, Lego and you're man. just gonna be covered in feces. <laughs> it's not even gonna be fe it's gonna be brown Legos. I'm gonna get thousands of brown Legos and just cover your fucking your fucking body with them. Oh, it's Brendan shit. No, just trap him inside. Just what? make a Lego coffin. 
<laughs> Lego Who coffins you for the coolest of kids. Who would you kill, Mandy? Oh, I, no. I, I might have to kill Avery. Why? Why? <laughs> I have... I'm going through really specific criteria for this. What's your specific criteria? What? Lay it out for us. If I fuck David, he'd probably never bring it up again. If I fuck Avery, I'm never going to hear the end of it. I would never bring it up again. <laughs> what do you mean? No. I've seen what you like when you get drunk. But hey, <laughs> remember that one time? Hey, 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 Mandy, if you fucked me, I wouldn't remember it if I was drunk. This is going in a strange oh. direction. <laughs> David, David, please end it. Um, uh, I, uh, can I put... Yeah, no, yeah, Brendan, if you have one, pick it. Yeah, um, did we, did you guys do the, if you could go back to being an 18 year old and continue life, what would you change about your life one? Oh no. God. Oh no, go ahead. Um, I would immediately. Wait, no, no. Who, who said that? Oh, uh, Where your boy that? will, your boy will. Oh, okay. Thank you. Your boy will. I would immediately get a haircut. Like first thing, first <laughs> thing, first, David, I'm going to send you a picture and it's going oh, to no. be a picture of me being arrested by stormtroopers and my hair is down to my shoulders. Oh, oh that I've picture, yeah. yeah. That's classic. a fucking golden picture. I would get a haircut immediately. Like, nothing, fuck <laughs> fuck any of the family drama, because I don't give a shit. I need that shit to be who I am today, right? But I would get a haircut for sure, because that would just improve my quality of life by 20%. I would travel to Iowa and punch Brendan's dad. You couldn't find him. I didn't live with my dad when I was 18. He was in the meth hole. I would go to the meth hole. I'm method. You, Launch yourself into the meth void, break bad, so you could break dad. <laughs> All you need to <laughs> Holy shit. That's a joke of the podcast. <laughs> oh my god. Breaking fucking breaking Breaking Dad, dad is the name of this episode. Oh my god. That is totally the name of the episode. Holy Here, fuck. I'll neck the bottle again for you right there, Brendan. Oh I'll my drink some god. more of those Miller highlights Yo, for you. Cheers, man. I'll drink some water Please, too, bro. Brendan. I have nothing. Um, I will spit all I like, of that out of my keyboard. Brendan, I like that you're drinking tap water because what I'm drinking is 45% alcohol. This is uh, 24 ounces of water. I can't even remember what I was doing when I was 18. How long ago was that? David, Are I have you your answer for you. the youngest one here? Six. Yeah. <laughs> David, get horns installed. I'm no. <laughs> Get horns installed? Get horns installed on your head. Like Then just, you won't just... get mistaken for the other David Tremblay. Exactly. The <gasps> other David would not have horns. They totally let you through customs dude, at any time. Dude, how fucked is it that in this world we have you and you're not the nega David? <laughs> Spanking. <When I> eight... <laughs> <laughs> and that's the episode. <laughs> what? What? Go ahead, David. This little joke for you editors out there. <laughs> I hate you so Wait. much, Randy. Are we actually done? <laughs> no yeah, one knows what's happening. I'm, I'm drunk. I hate you so much. <laughs> you fucking destroyed it. It's Thank stuck you for out. This it's episode stuck out like talking. something at hundred percent opacity. <laughs> Subscribe. It's stuck out like something you could see. Shout out to Pain Hole. Subscribe. Hey, thanks for listening. Huge thank you to all our top supporters: Alan Diver, Buckshot Papaya, Dax Ritchie, Dreams of Ice, Eric Scott Gillies, Grant Sheet, Jeff Smith, Marco Sotello, Rayon, Ryan Ranklin, Seawolf812, Spooky Ghost, Tyler Collins, and Unarmed Toaster. Huge thank you for the support, guys. 